Welcome back to another physical versus digital games discussion. And in today's video, I'm going to give you the pros and the cons of buying a physical game coming up. Okay, so as I mentioned, I'm going to discuss the pros and the cons of buying a physical copy. So let's jump straight into it and get started with those pros. Now first to state the obvious is the fact that you have a physical copy of the game. So you have a copy that you can hold in your hands. You can open up the case and hear that clicking sound. You can take the disc out and hear that little pulling of the disc coming out of the case. And it's something that you can see some artwork with and you can just be wowed by everything and you get that awesome feeling when you arrive and you go pick it up and you get home and you're trying to open it up. Um, you get all of that by having a physical copy of the game. Now. I wouldn't really recommend doing that if you actually have the disc in the case. So, um, you know, don't, don't do that at home. Disc copies don't typically require quite as much space as if you were downloading a digital copy of the game. So when you buy this, the game's already going to come with at least some of the software already installed. So this is going to give you access to play the game. Now there is something you need to keep in mind that a lot of times these games nowadays are coming out with a launch day update, which is going to give you a pretty hefty size uh, update a lot of the times. So, you know, it may kind of even out in the end, but in general, these usually do come with less required hard drive space because some of the game is already on the disc. So let's say you aren't really a you know gaming collector and you don't care whether you have thousands of games sitting on a shelf somewhere taking up space in your house. Now, if you would like the ability to resell your games, trade it into GameStop, give it to a friend or another family member, something like that. If you have a digital copy, you can't do that. But with a physical copy, you can. So take it to GameStop, get a little bit of money back for it, sell it to a friend or something. And that way you can use that money to purchase your next game that you would like to get. If you're a collector of video games, then the going with the physical copy I think is really going to be your best bet and one of the pros of having physical copies because now you can actually keep the game, put them up on displays for everybody to see when you have guest overs, you want to show off all of the games you have. Uh, this is a great way of doing that. Now, before we get started and talk about the cons of having physical games, if you are getting value out of this video, if you folks would please hit that like button, I'd greatly appreciate it. Now, it is an all sunshine and rainbows with physical copies of the game. There are definitely some cons to having physical copies, and let's go over those right now. Now, you could definitely go stand in line and wait for the game to release at your midnight release party, and you can wait there for hours to go get that game. Uh, but, you know, if you're really not into that, then that is definitely one of the downsides to having a physical copy is the fact that you have to wait and go stand in line and go take this time to get the actual game and then once you finally get the game you have to then turn around and drive home open the game put it into your console and then you're stuck you gotta wait until it can download and then of course like we talked about in the pros uh there are that that issue with it needing to do the launch day updates so if you're looking at having a physical copy you do want to keep that in mind there is definitely more time involved in order to get your game started, especially if you're one of those who really want to get that game and get started playing immediately as soon as it comes out. Now, as I mentioned uh, in the pros, if you are a collector, then obviously having the physical copies of the game is a benefit for the collectors, but you also have to keep in mind, you are going to need a lot of space depending on how big your library gets with collecting all of these games. So you will need to have shelves and you will need to take up space in your house. So not only are you going to have to have a lot of hard drive space for all of these games, but you are also going to have to have a lot of shelving space in order to actually put up all of the games in your house or wherever you're displaying them at. As I mentioned in the pros of having a physical copy of the game, it's the fact that it can last forever. Uh, however, I did mention kind of the caveat to that is that you have to take care of the games. So if you're not taking care of the games, they do have the ability to get scratched. You know, if you're throwing the game around like I did a little bit ago, uh, you know, it's going to break. It's going to scratch. It's going to get discarded, basically. And you're going to get to a point to where there's just too much wear and tear on that disc and you won't be able to actually play the games. Uh, point in case is my seven-year-old. We bought him a few games already, and you know, 
being young, he doesn't necessarily take care of them as well. And so he leaves them out sometimes. And I notice that they've gotten scratched. And we've had multiple games that we've had to replace or just throw away because they've gotten too scratched, too dirty, too many fingerprints on them or something. And they're just not working anymore. So while in theory, yes, you can keep these games forever, uh, it's not always going to be the case depending on how well you actually take care of them. So having the physical copy, you really want to make sure that you're taking them out of the console and then putting them back into the case and then put your case up somewhere, especially if you're a collector, you're already doing that. But if you're not and you're just kind of trying to weigh your pros and cons, this is definitely a con that they can get scratched. So you want to make sure that you're taking care of this product. As well, I mentioned how you can actually share the game with friends or family or whomever if you wanted to resell or whatever, but you have to actually have the game in hand in order to do that. So perhaps you lent out your game to a friend or another family member in another household and you go to them and say, oh, hey, yo, you know, I wanted to get my Destiny 2 copy back and they're searching around, looking for it, looking underneath the couch, looking in the closet. Uh-oh, I can't find the game. So that is definitely a con to the game too, is if you loan it out, you have to make sure that you can actually still get it back or even the fact that you just may lose it. So, um, you know, that is definitely a con to the game where if you lose it and now you have to go buy another copy of the game. Whereas if you had it on digital, you know, there really is no losing it unless your hard drive crashes, but we'll get into that discussion and the pros and cons of the digital copies. Okay, so that leads us to our question of the day. Are you in the physical games are better camp? And if you are in that camp, then leave us a comment below and let me know why you believe that physical games are the better option. And don't forget to check out our series on physical versus digital games discussion. Uh, you can view the rest of our videos that are coming up. And thank you so much for watching this video. I will see you in the next one.